Hey guys, <clears throat> if it looks like there's a river behind me today, it's because there's a river behind me. Guys, I've ventured once again off the well-known path, at least known to me, in search of a type of big Bigfoot Sasquatch type creature known as a river monster. Not that it's a different strand of potential Bigfoot Sasquatch or that it even lives in the water, but because it's been sighted along the banks of the upper Ravana River. Okay, you heard noise and then you heard a dog. Here's what's going on. I've been down here. I snuck in here, sneaked in here into this little patch of woods along the banks very stealthily some time ago and I've been very quiet and yeah you can hear cars I mean who do you think makes these reports of these sightings the Blue Jays so of course there's cars naysayers who is it that sees potential Bigfoot Sasquatch type monsters running across the road in front of their car late at night when there's heavy fogs kittens Anyway, I've been hunkered down here, being very quiet, not talking so much as I'm told I often do in these videos. And I heard movement over that way. And then those dogs that seem to reside at some sort of dwelling that looks like probably a house up there in the forest started barking. So I think we're onto something here. So as always, you guys get my six. Guys, we're in the swamp. You gonna tell me there's no potential Bigfoot Sasquatch water monster down here, river monster? I mean, this is prime real estate for such a creature. There's another car. If it were late at night and dark and there were, a, there were like a mist or fog over that road and this mythical Bigfoot Sasquatch river monster creature had run right at that moment across that road above the stagnant water whoever was in that car if they would not have been like IMing or texting or whatever they would have seen it where I thought I just detected movement back there. Did you guys see something? Okay guys, I've stopped the hunker down because I'm noticing some very odd structures in this particular area and this is where this dog is going crazy right now. I'm seeing some things. You know, everybody's pointing out in these videos about the trees. That tree's been pushed over, it's leaning that way. That means Bigfoot Sasquatch was there. No person did that. Well guys, you see what's behind me? This isn't the first one I've found in this area. I don't think a person did that either. And this is obviously a known Bigfoot Sasquatch potential river monster area because look what I just found. A Bigfoot Sasquatch cell phone stick. I mean, this thing seems to be custom made. And it's got some kind of strange gelatinous, gelatinous material coming out of the end. Both ends. Is that hair? I don't know, I'm gonna take it home. So all you fancy, schmancy, millennial, Bigfoot Sasquatch hunters, you keep all your fancy schmancy gadgets that I couldn't even have thought of when I was your age because we were so far away from making them. I don't need them. I'm going to kick it old school. A 
Again, remember, I'm making it look like I'm ignoring everything in the background. Get my six. Here's my technology. And no, it's not Gatorade. I don't even need electrolytes. I mean, not, you know, more than like what's in my natural diet because I eat a well-rounded diet. This, my friends, It's a nasty can of worms. See? There they are. See? It's a bag full of worms. All right, so why is Crazy Lake opening up a nasty can of worms while he's down here trying to catch this river monster? And yes, I'm actually trying to catch it. Listen, worms are sensitive to temperature, light, and vibration. So a lot of times in these videos, I'm like, did you hear that? Did you hear that? And some of you are like, no, I didn't hear that. There's nothing there. And then others of you are like, yeah, I heard it. it sounded like such and so. When you're pointing out, you know, go to, you know, 1328 in the video, I heard something. Like that I just heard like a low growl well look worms are sensitive to vibrations and a lot of people think noise is just sound and that sound is just noise that's not true sound is so much more than noise it's vibrations that come to us through the air like whispers on the wind so these worms will pick up these vibrations so I'll hold these worms up to the camera. If we think we hear something, these worms wiggle around, it's because we did. Okay, if these worms wiggle around and we didn't hear something, they did. I'm gonna venture a little further downstream and we're gonna do some knocking. Obviously, when somebody tried making a call with this one, somebody answered the call. So this is a known number, but it's not our known number. I didn't bring my sticks. I don't know what's down here. I'm fairly cautiously optimistic that any Bigfoot Sasquatch type creatures that live on my homestead are peaceful in nature, but I don't know what's down here. I don't know what I could potentially bring home with me if I use my cell phone stick for my Big, Bigfoot Sasquatch communications. I mean, guys, when you, you go to an unknown area, I mean, you're making a booty call. You don't take your Bigfoot Sasquatch stick. You get one out there and you leave it there. You don't want it. You don't know what you might be taking home with you. Okay, guys. I'm heading further downstream, further deeper into the swamp, and I'm running into more of those strange structures which I do not believe are man-made you got these trees knocked down at an angle okay everybody's pointing out these trees behind my house on my homestead saying a Bigfoot Sasquatch did that and now I'm seeing them down here and you can tell where they've been cut not by a chainsaw or an axe or anything like that the way they're falling looks exactly like the trees behind my house so I'm gonna try to not talk and record in silence here see if we pick up any movement or sounds I hear a hawk or an eagle here's some sort of Another strange tree formation of sorts. Okay guys, I think we're in a good location to try some knocks because I've found several trees like this broken off several feet above the ground. Did you hear that? Look at that tree. Okay guys, let's 
Let's try our new strategy. I heard something across the river. I'm gonna knock. I'm gonna knock twice. I don't know why. I still don't know how many knocks means what. So many pe people say so many different things. So I'm gonna knock twice because that's the first idea that came to my head. And then I'm gonna put my stick down and pick up my worms and we're gonna listen for sounds and watch for worm movement. Ready? Pay attention. Lots of worms. Did you see that? I heard something and saw a worm move at the same time. The worm is moving. It's picking up vibrations. Guys, I'm going to point out it's very cold out here today and worms are cold-blooded creatures. So when it's cold, they don't move. So if they're moving, they're definitely picking up sound. The vibrations are causing them to move. There's something over there. Did you hear that? That sounded like a knock. Okay, so let's say we actually do find this Bigfoot Sasquatch creature known locally as the River Monster. How are we going to prove it? Because, I mean, half you people say that they don't show up on camera. Some people say, oh, get trail cams. You, then the other people say there's no need to get trail cams because they don't show up on trail cams. Well, I don't know if we actually see one if it'll show up on this phone. That's why I said earlier, I'm going to catch it. So, how... How do I intend to do that? Well, many of you have been following this channel for some time. And if, if so, maybe you've seen some of the videos of my wife and me hiking through the woods. You know I possess a very special set of skills. It's a set of skills I've acquired over a very long period of time. I don't have any money. And I don't really know anybody that does who would give me any of it, of theirs. But I do have these skills. From studying an insect called the walking stick for many years, this walking stick looks, looks a lot like a praying mantis, but it's even skinnier and thinner. It can sit up against a tree or the limb of a tree, and if it doesn't move, you will not see it. I can do the same thing. So my plan on catching this Bigfoot Sasquatch potential river monster is to morph into a tree like I do, and you can watch those hiking videos. I'll put one at the end of this video to show you my skills because I can do this in the woods and my wife can't see me and people watch the video a lot of people say they can't see me either so I will morph into a tree I will wait until the Bigfoot Sasquatch gets close and then I will snare him her it or they or them 
with a net. Watch, I will demonstrate. You can't see me. Don't watch this part. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm gonna start heading out of here but I'm gonna keep my eyes and my ears open as we do. I've got the worms back in their nasty can. I'm a worm farmer too. I know what I'm talking about when it comes to worms. Okay, I might not know as much as some of you guys have about Bigfoot Sasquatch. I mean, there's some people telling me how I don't know nothing. They know so much more about this creature that may or may not even exist. Hey, I'll give it to you, man. I'm not trying to say that I know more about something that may or may not even exists than you do, okay? But I know about worms. My point is, because I'm a vermiculturalister, I just started that recently and I did a lot of research before I started. So I'm taking my worms back to my worm farm. What I know is worms don't lie, okay? This is our after action review we're gonna do here on the way back to the vehicle as we make our way out of the swamp. Okay, because we got some time. Look, if it takes you 20 minutes to get into the swamp, you can't turn around and walk out in five minutes. Okay, so we saw some strange tree structures, such as this one. We found what looks like a Bigfoot Sasquatch, Bigfoot Sasquatch calling stick with strange gelatinous type gelatinous material coming out of both ends. We did see worm movement when there may or may not have been noise and remember noise is vibrations which is movement it's movement on the air look at these creepy trees you're going to tell me there's no potential bigfoot sasquatch river monster back here with trees like this oh, that was a car i saw something out of the corner of my eyes and i thought oh no there it is I mean, that's why we came. If that would have been it, so what? I could have gotten my net out of my backpack in time. Ooh. Guys, more evidence. I think I just found potential Bigfoot Sasquatch. Okay, so you just saw this. This is real time. Here we are. Check it out. Creepy trees in a swamp where we're finding strange stuff. And then I find this. Look at this. What is this? Is that, is that a skull? Is this some sort of skull? Did we find the potential Bigfoot Sasquatch River Monster skull? Remember how I said if it takes you 20 minutes to get in the middle of a swamp, you can't expect to get out in five? <sighs> the hell I can't watch this. After that, I'm getting out of here in five minutes. All right, guys. I'm going to go home and review the tape. I'm going to turn up the volume and listen closely, slow down the frames, see what all this crazy stuff we saw in here is. But I know one thing. I'm getting out of here before dark. Give you one last look. Make sure to check back in tomorrow night for the next segment.